Hello, welcome back to the learning of Broco CMS. And today in this video, I would like to show you how to render the dynamic data from the Broco CMS and then display it on the website. Okay, so basically, when you are working on a or any website project, so all of the content on the website, you it should be loading dynamically from the database and then display it on the website instead of displaying the static data and 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 that's why in this in this video today i would like to show you how to load the dynamic data from the Amproco cmat database and display it on the um, web page on the system okay let let's get started and uh, this one the website we are okay, working on and here is the home page and today i will guide you a basic demo and i will load the uh, this, introdu this introduction message from the uh, the, the umbraco cmat okay so now let's open the umbraco cmat admin okay so now go to the setting template document type okay so under the document type i will create another folder i will name it e uh, custom custom type yeah so here it should be introduction I will create a new document type with our template. I will name it the introduction control. Introduction control. And I click on composition. So no. After that, click on add a new tab. Enter the name. You can enter any name. I will enter it in content. Add a property. So this property, you you have to provide some information for this property. It should be introduction. Here, after that, the alias automatically generated for this property. Here is a is a description for this property. And the You click on Add Editor. Yeah. After that, you you have to select an, an editor for this property. Uh, we have a lot of uh, um, uh, um, editor here. There are the date view, date time, decimal, email address, and for this one, it should be text string. So now I will scroll down and I select the Rich Text Editor. Here you can you can do the configuration for the editor. You can see select a lot of things here which should be displayed on the toolbar of the editor. So now I will leave it by default. Click on submit button to uh, execute the, 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 the action. Submit again. Okay, cool. And you can enter an, an icon for this document type. Blue E2. Okay, select anything here. Save it. Okay. And now uh, this one is the whole page. 
and now you have to assign this property into the home page and you select the home page document type here and click on add a new tab oh no sorry delete it you click on the composition you select the introduction control submit save it okay cool and now we back to the content click on the home page yeah so after that you can see here under the content tab it should be display the introduction property here the either enter the in, in, in introduction tag here that is the decoration tag so here the either uh, an editor here you have to add the content here for this one okay cool so now i see we'll see the code okay so i will open the visual studio it should be the home page banner yeah i have this html i will copy this one and i will paste it here i will open the short code uh, because in this uh, in this tag it contains some html tag so i have to open the uh, short code view format for this one in order to make it look uh, look, look, look um, correct when displaying on the website click on save and publish button okay cool that's all and we have finished the configuration for the content over the introduction property at the umbraco cmat and now we back to the visual studio short code here okay so i will temporarily comment this one save it i will back to here refresh this page and now the text should be hidden okay cool and now open this one and we will write some code here to get the dynamic data from the Abarco CMS and display here. Okay, let's follow my video step by step. Okay, I will inherit. Okay, so inherit Abarco view pet. Uh, a cited content item that value that property value it should be introduction okay cool and back to this page and refresh again yes you can see here the tag had been loaded from the the umbraco cmat and display on this page and, and enter another name here save it save it okay cool back to the front end page and refresh the page yeah you can see here the tag has been changed and load a new updated data from the Umbraco CMAT. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to uh, load in the dynamic content from the Umbraco CMAT and display it and display it on the web page. And after you finish this video, I hope this will be helpful for you and you can refer to this video and apply it into your project. Okay, hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and talk to you later.